Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Monday, December 20th, 2019. So first of all, I'd like to wish you all a very happy Martin Luther King Day. I hope you guys have had a good day. Uh, it finally stopped snowing here today, which was fantastic, because we've had plenty of snow. <laughs> uh, it looks like the uh, greenhouse looks like an igloo. So um, I wanted to do an update and so first of all let me just say I'm glad from what I've heard from what I've seen there wasn't any violence um, at the gun rally okay down in Virginia so let's talk about this for a second okay and I want you guys to think about this what was accomplished from the gun rally all right let's think about this now I know that a lot of counties in Virginia this is just the first step of the fight, guys, just so you know. And, and this is my opinion. I'm just going to give you my opinion on this. This is the first step of the fight because the laws are going to go into place because they have the votes and they can do it and the Democrats can make it happen in Virginia. So that's going to happen regardless of this gun rally or anything else with that. The laws are going to go into place. Now, that's just the first step of it because a lot of these counties have declared themselves sanctuary counties, Second Amendment sanctuary counties. That's a whole different fight that's coming up. Um, you know, so this whole rally, really, what did it accomplish? So let's think about this a second. What did this rally accomplish? Did it show that we're standing up and we believe for the Second Amendment? To a degree, sure. But what it also did, it gave the people that are in charge, that want these gun laws to be in place, that want things to happen, they've given them, you guys that were down at the gun rally and protesting, you've given them a fantastic database. Because if you were not on a list beforehand, um, you're on a list now. So welcome. I'm already on that list, and that's fine, and I don't even care. Okay. Um, I'm not looking to overthrow the government. I just want to have my peace of, you know, and mind my own business. But of course, you know, they don't want that. And when I say they, the powers that be that want to run everything, that want to control everything, they want to keep us all subser subservient slaves doing what they want us to do, um, which is work ourselves to death and at the end of the day die with nothing and, uh, you know, and move on. But, uh, you know, some of us have made other decisions and other choices. And so that is a threat because it shows people that you have another option, you have another choice. You just don't have to jump on that hamster wheel and play the game and continue to do that, okay? Um, so the people that are now, that have been to this rally, all kinds of pictures were taken, all kinds of video was taken, uh, facial recognition will be utilized. Uh, you know, they've stopped people, I, from what I understood, I've heard that they stopped people on the way down there and were checking people's IDs and stuff like that and checking to see if their guns were registered and those type of things, okay? And so, you just made the list. Um, they're going to be watching you. They're going to keep you an eye on you. And when it comes time for them to continue on with what they're doing, uh, people like that that went to this rally, you will be considered agitators. And I'm not trying to be a jerk about this, guys. I'm not, because I'm absolutely 100% Second Amendment, pro-gun, the whole nine yards. As anybody that knows my channel knows, um, I am absolutely 100% for, you know, following the Constitution as far as that goes. And, uh, you know, there's games being played, and this is just the first step of this game. But what you guys have done is you've given them a fantastic database to be able to, you know, try to see what they can find out about you. Um, who's going to be the ones that are going to be agitators? Who's going to be the ones that are going to go and, and do that type of thing? So I had somebody made a comment, and they said, instead of just sitting behind a camera um, and talking about it, these people are the ones that have the balls, is what they said, to go and do something about it. They've accomplished nothing, guys. Realistically, what have they accomplished? What have they accomplished? Those laws are still going to go into effect in Virginia. That's just the first step. The real fight is coming up. The real fight is going to be in these uh, counties that have declared themselves Second Amendment sanctuary counties. That's where it's going to get interesting. And that's where the real fight is going to happen. All right. Then we'll see who stands up then. Uh, there's a lot going on. There's, this is just a major, major game, and this whole thing was just a small thing. Um, going down there and protesting it is absolutely your right to do so. 
Um, I respect anybody that went down there and did it. You know, it's absolutely your choice. Um, that could have ended very, very badly, okay? But like I said, you, the ones that have gone down to this rally, um, you are now on a list. Your information has been gathered. They are watching. They will continue to watch. Um, you know, when that time comes, well, you're pro-Second Amendment. You were at this gun rally. You must have guns, right? So they're going to come, and they're going to see what you got. And you're going to be high on that list for people that they're going to want to take things from because you will be considered an agitator. Mark my words if I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, then that's great. I hope I am wrong. But I'm realistic as well, and I know how things go down. And, you know, it, it's, you know it's, a, it's a great thing, people standing up for their rights, and I think that's fantastic. But it, what has been accomplished from this for the Second Amendment pro-gun movement? Absolutely nothing. Because Northrum and his cronies are passing those laws anyway. Those laws are going to pass, they're going to go on the books. Then the real fight is going to start happening. So I definitely, I want to hear your guys' feedback. I want to hear what you guys have to say about this because I'm just, like I said, I, I'm giving you my opinion. I'm telling you what I think. Um, like I said, I honestly felt that it would be a very dangerous place to be today for a lot of reasons, okay? And thank goodness, from what I've understood, from what I've seen, there hasn't been any violence down there, which was great. Because realistically, um, most people that are pro-Second Amendment are decent, law-abiding citizens that just want their freedoms. Um, and, that, and there's nothing wrong with that. They, most of the people that were going down there were not looking for trouble. You know, They wanted to protest in a peaceful manner like they have the right to do so. But like I said, all that really has been accomplished is a wonderful database um, for the different agencies that are the lapdogs for the people that are in charge, the people that want to take away our weapons. So, you know, that's just kind of where I'm at with that. Like I said, guys, if I was there or not there, I am already on a list, okay, because I speak up, I speak out, and stuff like that. So, you know, I would definitely be considered somebody that would cause trouble because I say it like it is. Um, I give you my opinion. I don't sugarcoat things. I'm not politically correct. I never will be politically correct, okay? Um, if something don't smell right, I'm going to say it don't smell right. But like I said, I, you know, there, there's a lot of games being played right now. Virginia is just the tip of the iceberg, okay? And it's going to continue. And we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see where it ends up. Um, could it end up very, very badly? I think that it could. Um, you know, it's just, it, it, you're, we're going to have to see what happens. And it's just a matter of time is what it comes down to. It's a matter of time. But, uh, you know, life is interesting, and uh, like I said, we never know what's going to happen in life, and so, you know, that's it. But, uh, you know, um, very cold day today here at the homestead. Uh, up here, they were saying in town it was 16 degrees, so up here it was probably about 10. Uh, the birds, I left them in today. I didn't bring them out because, again, it's just been too cold. I got four eggs today so far, so I will go out and check one more time before I go to bed. Um, the last two days I ended up with eight eggs each day, but uh, the weather's been pretty cold, <laughs> so hasn't, you know, been real conducive. So I actually, if they only ended up laying four today, I wouldn't be disappointed with that. But, uh, you know, and the dogs are good. I just put them out there a little while ago. and well, There's no wind today, so that definitely helps, but it is definitely chilly out here. Uh, you know, like I said, we had a lot of sunshine today, which was good. It was good for solar, and you can see the panels are completely clean. Um, this morning they did have a layer of snow on them, but that melted off really, really quickly. But, uh, no, not bad. Not bad at all. So definitely, guys, I want to hear your feedback on this topic. What do you think? What do you think has been accomplished from the rally down in Virginia? What, what's been accomplished? I, I definitely want to hear what you guys have to say, okay? Um, like I said, I'm just giving you my opinion and who am I, right? I'm just some dude on YouTube. So, um, guys, if you are not subscribed to the channel and you like what we're doing here, uh, please subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell icon so that you get you know, notifications and stuff like that. Um, probably this video will be demonetized as well, I'm sure, because I'm going to be talking about Virginia once again. But you know what? It still needs to be talked about. Things need to be discussed. 
And so, you know, they're going to do what they're going to do. I'm going to still talk about whatever I want to talk about. Um, I'm not going to use the game of not talking about something for fear of being demonetized on the video uh, just because that's what they're going to do. If they're going to do it, they're going to do it anyway. And that's just the way it goes. So anyway, guys, I hope everybody's doing well. I hope your week is starting good. I hope you had a good day. Uh, I hope everybody, is, like I said, is doing well. Remember, guys, we are all in this together. That's important to remember. When the time comes, we need to work together and, and try to work as a team. Uh, individuals will not make it. The only way you're going to survive what's coming is working together as a group. Also remember, guys, to hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important that we tell the people that we care about every single day how we feel. Also remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to accomplish, whatever you are trying to do, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is you. Nobody else can stop you, okay? Uh, you know, stay positive, stay away from that negativity, and you will be fine. I will talk to you all later. I hope everybody's having a great night. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.